Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. James Hughes. His family has owned the Marble Slab Creamery um, here in Shreveport. I left Marble Slab, but I was coming back to help decorate cakes. And I went in there one day, and him and his brother were working in there, and I thought, you know what, this guy's really nice looking. Like, Man, that girl is cute right there. Before you know it, we were talking about her eyes. She has beautiful green eyes. I went back in there four times within the next month to try to find him, and he was never in there. <laughs> you know, a week passed, and I'm like, Man, who was that girl? You know, I got I'd go work the slab, decorate a cake, and then I'd go over to the fish shop where she worked to just look for her. She was also coming back to the ice cream shop looking for me. I had dro drove past the restaurant and I was like, I'm, I give up. I'm not going back in there anymore. It's not working out for me. So I went to the gym one day. I was working out at the Planet Fitness, turned the corner about break my neck and I seen her. And I texted my friends and I was like, oh my gosh, the guy from Marble Slab is in here right now. And they're like, go up and talk to him. I'm like, no, I'm not going up and talking to him. So I was like, all right, this is it. Just take the chance. And so I, I got on the treadmill next to her and I said, hey, aren't you that girl that I met, you know, not too long ago? And, and we talked for a little while and we really hit it off and we gave each other our numbers and then the rest is history. He did a really, really good pickup line on me. And I was like, man, I recognize those eyes anywhere. You know what I'm saying? He, he goes, I knew I'd remember your eyes from somewhere. <laughs> it was perfect. <laughs> He had a lot of qualities that I looked for in a future husband, and a lot of those qualities were what my grandfather had. I always told myself I wanted somebody who embodied who my grandfather was, because he was always so good to me and he was always there for me. This is exactly why I've been patiently waiting for someone that I knew had these characteristics that I could truly connect with and that I know and could trust forever. I was a he said it first. We actually were in the hospital. I had emergency surgery done. Literally, I see her completely turning pale. It's something that can change your perspective. And we were having some issues and we decided to break it off in the hospital. We were already kind of on the verge of, you know, just taking like a, a break. And we told each other we loved each other. <clears throat> you know, a month or two passed. We, uh, you know, got our heads straight and everything. And, and then came back together and it's way better than ever. You know, then it was like, hey, you know, I love you. You know, like, let's make this a normal thing to say to each other. Let's do it. He's so, so selfless. Puts everybody before him. She's a little human, but man, she has the biggest heart. Dear James, today is our wedding day. I can't believe it's already here. Dear Momo, uh, after all these years together and all these months of planning, well, since you've been planning since I proposed, uh, it's crazy that this day is already here. Thank you for taking care of me and always putting me first. I'll never forget the prayers you sent to me every single day. Thank you for being a great dad to our Brindley and Winky. Um, you have the biggest heart and the most loving heart. Um, you care for others almost more than you do for yourself. You are everything I've ever dreamed of having in a husband and a father to our future children. You have so many awesome qualities about you that were clearly passed down from your entire family. You have the biggest heart out of anyone I've ever known. And, uh, and a huge shout out to Benny uh, for being so awesome and filling that, uh, <clears throat> filling that fatherly role. I can't wait to start this new and amazing chapter with you. I love you so much. Now let's get married. Love your wife. Momo Hughes. I'm looking forward to creating new memories and accomplishing new goals together forever and always. <clears throat> I love you, babe. Dear Heavenly Father, I pray that everything that is said and done, God will first and foremost glorify you. And then Lord, secondly, to glorify this couple. Father, this is a beautiful couple. God, I thank you for bringing them together today. Lord, I thank you for the honor and privilege of serving in this capacity that they've asked me to do. Lord, may you watch over us, keep us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.
Jane, before God and these witnesses, do you pledge to have this woman to be your wife? Morgan, the same for you before God and these witnesses. Do you pledge to have this man to be your husband? Do you promise to love him, honor him, and cherish her in sickness and in health, leaving all others and cleave only unto him as long as you both shall live? I do. The Bible in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, we call the love chapter. It says this, that love is patient, love is kind. It's not jealous. Love does not brag. It's not arrogant. It does not act unbecomingly. It does not seek its own. It's not provoked. And it doesn't take into account a wrong suffer. It does not rejoice in unrighteousness, but rejoices with the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, and endures all things. Love never fails. You know, as we look at these rings, it is a never-ending circle. That never-ending circle is a reminder of your never-ending love for each other. With this ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. It is a token, my never-ending love. For you. I promise to love you and cherish you. From this day forward, for better or worse. Riches or in poverty, no. sickness or in health. As long as we both shall live. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. By the authority placed in me by God in the state of Louisiana, I now pronounce you husband and wife. James, you may kiss your bride. God, what an honor it is, Lord, just to see the excitement in this beautiful young couple. Lord, they're so passionate for each other, have just such a love and a twinkle in their eye for each other. And God, I pray that when life gets tough, that they'll remember this day. They'll remember how awesome they felt as they exchanged these rings and shared these vows. Remember keeping you first in everything. And God, I'm gonna thank you, Lord, for blessing them with this day. Lord, a beautiful day. Lord, we ask that you'll continue to watch over them, continue to bless them. Father, we pray, pray blessings on them. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen.